All right, welcome. This is part two of basic Linux commands. So I'm back here on my Ubuntu desktop. I think before I had some folders open, I had the terminal open. I closed out all of that. Um, so what I want to do is I want to open up my terminal. So I'm going to click on that. Let's open up my terminal. Um, so right now, I just opened up my terminal, and I don't really know where I'm at. Am I in my root directory? Am I, am I in my documents library? Am I in where? where am I at? So this is the command. It's PWD. It stands for Present Working Directory. That will tell you exactly where you're at. So you can see that I'm in the home directory and then help. So if I type in ls, this is like my home space. I'm in my home directory. Um, let's go into the documents library. So I'm going to type in cd documents. Hit tab ls. Okay. Um, previously I created some of these things. So rm deletes things. So right now I have in here, I have copy doc documents. I can type in rm, that's remove, and it'll remove copy doc. So now when I type in ls, it's not there. rm documents ls. I can also do rm folder, and notice it says this, rm cannot remove folder because it's a directory. So when we, took, when we take a look here, we have copy doc and document. Both of these things are white. The folder, which is an actual directory, that is blue. So actual directories cannot be removed by using the rm command. In order to remove a directory or to remove a folder, we have to use rmdir and then the name of the folder. Now when we type in ls, we have nothing. So a little bit of review how to create a folder or directory. It's mkdir and then, let's see, a folder name, so, or directory. So now when I type in ls, ls again is the command used to see what's inside of a folder. So currently I'm in the documents folder. I wanna see what's in there. Type in ls and I see I have directory. That's the equivalent of I'm in documents, I now have this. So basically it's just when I type in ls, I get to see this right here. Um, let's go back to the terminal. All right, so let's, let's learn another command, and it's called touch. So when I type in touch, touch creates a document. Document. I'm going to hit ls now. So now I have a directory, and I have a document. Let me, let me minimize this. You can see I have a directory and I have a document right here. So if you if you want to create a document, you type in um, touch. If you want to create a directory, it's mkdir. Let's head, hop back to the terminal. So let's say I want to copy that document. So in order to copy a document, it's cp. cp stands, it's copy, space. What do I want to copy? Well, I want to copy doc. You meant I want to copy the document document and I want to call it copy. And I'm going to hit enter now. Now when I type in ls, I see I have three things. I have copy, I have directory, and I have document. If I minimize this, you can see I have the directory, copy, and document. All right. So <clears throat> now, so now I've learned how to create. Um, directories. I've learned how to create documents. Again, if I wanted to remove or delete a document, I type in rm and then the document name. So I'll type in rm document. Now when I type in ls, all I have is copy and directory. So basically rm deletes that particular document. Now you might be having if you're not doing this in the documents folder, you might be having all sorts of difficulty. You really need to be in PWD, this working directory, slash home, slash help slash documents. Yours is obviously going to be your username right there, not my username. So how do you get there if you're like totally lost and like, oh my god, this is so confusing? Well, type in cd space forward slash cd space forward slash that's going to take us to our root directory we'll type in ls we can see all the different folders here we want to go into the home folder so i'll type in cd home type in ls then i have my username right there so i'll cd into my username hit enter type in ls 
cd into documents hit ls there we go so that's how to get there pwd will show you your present working directory you can see this was where i started i started right here in the root directory then i went into the home directory then i went into my username then i went into the documents directory they call them directories in linux they call them folders in windows they're the same thing okay so inside of this i have copy and i have directory let's say i want to move the cop the document that's called copy into the folder or the directory called directory well that would be the move command mv copy so i'm going to move copy into the directory hit enter so now when i type in ls it's go hey what happened my uh, document called copy is totally missing no it's not let me show you where it is cd into the directory type in ls and there it is if i minimize this you can see there's the directory double click on that so what i did was i basically took this document that was in that was right here and i moved it into that particular folder so that's the mv command okay so we've learned a couple of different commands now we learned mv for move cp copy um what else did we oh yeah an rm for rm remove yeah cp copy um touch create so here's what i'd like you to do now um installed on all of your computers is a program called jing I bet it is, if you go to all programs, you should have a folder called TechSmith, and then you can click on Jing. So if you don't have an account with Jing, oh, you might get something like this where you need to install a new version of Jing. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and very quickly install a new version of Jing. I'd like you to open up Jing, um, and if you don't have a, an account with Jing already set up, when you first launch it, it'll have you create one. Just go ahead and create an account with Jing, like fill out all the information that's required. Once you have that, you, there's like a little sun that pops up here in the top. Click on the sun, and then you click on this capture, and then I want you to drag. You drag the entire screen, okay? So now my entire screen is like kind of selected. And I click, can click on this, capture video. Um, and now what's happening is the video, whatever I'm doing, is being captured. Just like the video of what you're seeing. Um, so now I can like go into my terminal and like I can type in ls or do whatever kind of commands. As soon as I'm done, I come down here, I click finish, stop. And this is really important right here. This is important. Do not click out on this cancel. If you do that, you're going to have to record your entire video over. You click on this, share via screencast. It's going to upload the video that I just recorded to screencast.com. And then it's going to say, hey, we want to view this on screencast. So I click view on screencast and the video uploads. Now when I press play, now what's happening is the video, whatever I'm doing, is being captured, just like the video of Jing. what that's already recorded. Okay, so you can take this link right here, copy it, and then you can paste it into a, um, I'm going to have a document for this particular, uh, for this particular video assignment. Um, you're going to want to paste that link. So what do I want you to record doing? Now that you know how to use Jing, what do I want you to record? Well, it's going to be easy, so notepad. So I want you to record record yourself using terminal. Term. Oops, I always spell terminal wrong. Oops, it's T E R M I N. T E R. Jeez, I s I'm bad at spelling. M I N. Record yourself using terminal to browse to the um, documents directory or folder. Create a folder called 
um, called Reichelt. So you're going to create a folder called Reichelt. Um, then you're going to create a document called, um, let's make it called just doc. And so then I want you to type in ls, type ls to see both the document and folder you created. Okay, so number one, you're going to record yourself using terminal to browse to the documents directory and you're going to create a folder called Reichelt. You're going to create a document called doc. Then you're going to type in ls to see both the document and folder you created inside of there. Then you are going to copy the doc um, and call the copy copy doc. Okay? Um, so this would be three and then four is type ls to see your document. Um, five. Now here's when the move command comes in. I want you to move the um, copy doc to the folder to um, to inside the folder right health. Okay? So Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to open up, you're going to start up Jing, you're going to record yourself um, opening up terminal, browsing to the documents directory, creating a folder called Reichelt, and creating a document called doc. Then you're going to copy that document doc um, by using the copy command and make it make the copy called copy doc. Then you're going to move um, the copy doc document to inside of the folder Reichelt which you created. Do all of this inside of terminal, record it using Jing. Okay? Then you'll have that Jing and I want you to upload the um you'll upload that Jing, copy the link to the Jing right here. This is the link. Copy this link to the Jing and paste it into the um, Google Classroom assignment. Okay, hopefully that's helpful and let me know if you have any questions.